In this eye-opening video, we unveil the shocking details about China's secret spy base in Cuba, revealed for the first time in 2024. Join us as we explore the strategic implications of this covert operation and what it means for global security. We will dive into the location, purpose and potential risks associated with China's increased influence in the Caribbean. Discover the geopolitical landscape that has led to this development, and hear expert opinions on how this base could affect US-China relations. With exclusive insights and analysis, this video is a must-watch for anyone interested in international affairs, espionage, and the hidden dynamics of global power. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth investigations into the world's most pressing issues. Stay informed and stay ahead in understanding the complex world of espionage and international relations. The relationship between China and Cuba has been a topic of speculation for decades, but today, a new report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington reveals an alarming turn China might be building a spy base in Cuba, a base strategically located to monitor and track U.S. military movements in the Western Hemisphere. What does this collaboration mean, and how could it change the balance of power in the region? In this documentary, we will explore the details of this project and its implications for global security. On July 1st, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, or CSIS, published a report titled Secret Signals, Decoding China's Intelligence Activities in Cuba. This report revealed the existence of a new facility under construction near the El Salao neighborhood east of Santiago de Cuba. The facility, with a circularly arranged array of antennas, appears designed to intercept intelligence signals and monitor U.S. air and maritime space. Why is this base so relevant right now? To understand it, we must look back in time. Cuba has historically been a key player in intelligence and espionage affairs, particularly during the Cold War. Its proximity to the United States makes it a prime location for information gathering. Over time, technology has evolved, but foreign powers' strategic interest in Cuba has remained. Satellite images analyzed by CSIS show the construction of what appears to be a large circular array of antennas, known as a Circularly Disposed Antenna Array, or CDEBA. This type of structure allows analysts to intercept high-frequency signals and determine their origin and direction. This technology, used during the Cold War, is designed to detect military and civilian communications. The presence of a CDAA in Cuba is significant because it gives China an intelligence window that is inaccessible from its own territory. With this base, China could track military movements in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico, as well as monitor U.S. bases in Florida and Guantanamo Bay. The new base is located just 50 miles from the U.S. naval base in Guantanamo, giving China unprecedented capacity to closely observe U.S. military operations in the region. The CSIS study also reveals that the new facility at El Salao is not the only one. There are other intelligence bases on the island that, according to the report, may be operating with Chinese assistance. The facilities in Bejucal, Watau, and Calabazar are key points in this espionage network. These bases, near the capital Havana, appear to have been recently upgraded with space monitoring equipment, which is puzzling given that Cuba has no space program of its own. This suggests that these facilities are being used to monitor foreign, possibly U.S. satellites. China has invested large sums of money in Cuba, including the modernization of the port of Santiago de Cuba in 2019, which has strengthened its strategic relationship with the island. Additionally, a large portion of Cuba's debt has been forgiven raising questions about the real cost of this relationship for both countries. Although the CSIS report does not provide conclusive evidence of China's involvement in these espionage activities, the context and circumstances suggest that the relationship between China and Cuba is strengthening in the intelligence sphere. Rumors that Chinese intelligence agencies have been operating in Cuba since at least the 1990s have been widely circulated and the new report only adds fuel to these speculations. China has been operating jointly with Cuban intelligence agencies since 1992, particularly at the Bajucal base. 
What is surprising is that it took U.S. intelligence agencies nearly a decade to discover this agreement. If this story teaches us anything, it's that the espionage collaboration between Cuba and China has deep roots. The construction of this base and the expansion of intelligence capabilities in Cuba not only raise concerns for U.S. security, but also for the stability of the Western Hemisphere. In recent years, China has increased its presence in Latin America and the Caribbean investing in infrastructure projects, including ports and airports, which some experts fear may have military and espionage purposes. China's investments in infrastructure in the region have been seen by some as a way to establish a more strategic presence either for intelligence or long-term military purposes. This raises red flags in Washington which views China as a strategic competitor in the region. One of the most worrying aspects of this report is what it means for Cuba's future a country that faces a prolonged economic crisis and has been willing to cooperate with foreign powers in exchange for financing. Ryan Berg of CSIS raises a troubling question. With a country as poor and desperate as Cuba, willing to help anyone who pays, how much worse could the situation get? Cuba is in a vulnerable position, and as China and other U.S. adversaries expand their influence in the Western Hemisphere, the island could become a crucial player in espionage efforts against the United States. China has repeatedly denied building a spy base in Cuba. A spokesman for the Chinese embassy in Washington called the accusations slanders, while the Cuban government has also rejected the idea of a Chinese spy base on the island. However, Chinese intelligence agencies have maintained a presence in Cuba for decades, suggesting that, although authorities deny direct involvement, the reality may be much more complex. In Washington, revelations about this new base have raised concerns in defense and national security circles. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence has declined to comment on the site under construction, but experts warn that the United States must take steps to counter this emerging threat in its backyard. With China's growing influence in Latin America and the construction of strategic infrastructure in the region, the question now is, how will the United States respond? As the relationship between Cuba and China grows closer, the construction of this spy base could mark the beginning of a new era of geopolitical tensions in the Western Hemisphere. The remaining question is, how long will it be before this situation escalates further, and what will the implications be for global security? It wouldn't be the first time China has attempted to spy on United States electronic communications, a practice known as signals intelligence. A suspected Chinese spy balloon that traveled across the United States in February was capable of collecting signals intelligence and is believed to have transmitted them to Beijing almost in real time. In that case, the United States took steps to protect sensitive sites and block the intelligence signals before shooting down the balloon. However, it is unclear what the United States can do to prevent the construction of a Chinese spy facility in Cuba. The source familiar with United States intelligence pointed out that while a spy base in Cuba would be concerning, China has already established footholds within the United States, specifically secret police stations that the USA administration has begun to dismantle. The United States also conducts espionage missions near China, using reconnaissance planes that regularly carry out electronic surveillance. One of these United States planes was recently intercepted by a Chinese fighter jet in what the United States described as a dangerous and unprofessional maneuver. However, the revelation about a potential Chinese outpost in Cuba comes as relations between the United States and China have reached a low point following the spy balloon incident and several aggressive maneuvers by Chinese planes and ships against United States assets in the South China Sea. Are we about to witness a new era of espionage and geopolitical tensions in the Western Hemisphere? And what does this mean for the security of the United States and its allies? What will be the consequences of China's growing influence in Latin America? And how should the United States respond to this strategic challenge in its own backyard? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave your own travel hacks in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more travel tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.